OK, here's the next part of the Digital VFO Saga. There's the, uh, there's the thing there. If I change the frequency, you can see it's coming down. And if I look at the frequency counter and change the frequency, you should see there's a frequency change there. It's not the right frequency because I have a bug and it's uh, something to do with a variable that I just need to look at but you can see that the frequency is changing and we'll just try that again there it is on the scope so you can see the frequency is changing as I go along and if I now um, if I now uh, switch this off switch it back on again you can see that it remembered where I was and all of the settings the step and the LSB and all the rest of it and just to uh, prove that we'll change uh, change the step change the mode hard to do this while I'm holding the camera so put that to CW, steps at, uh, oops, I'm back to 1, let's put the step to 10. I can't remember what it was, but step 10, uh, we'll make it count up. Let's change that, change the frequency a little bit. And we're counting down, aren't we? I don't remember which way around I am. I think I'm counting up, so at the band limit, let's just make it count down again, in steps of 10, okay, so we're at what, 110, CW, step 10, turn it off, turn it back on again, 110, step 10, CW, so that's, uh, that's working okay. And just to prove it, we have a frequency there as well. Not quite the correct one yet, but I'll sort that bug out in a while. Right, almost there. Uh, oh, just another note, you might have noticed. <laughs> I've changed to an 877. Uh, the, other, the other chip, the 876, was giving me problems on the analogue ports. Uh, so I changed to an 877. This will allow me... Um, more pings to upgrade, things like band switches, um, split VFOs, uh, and anything else I can think of as well. So uh, that's where we are at the moment.